here. Today I am going to be doing a video all about my fake tanning routine. So I wanted to do a super super detailed video where I take you through the routine step by step. So if you wanted to start fake tanning yourself, if you're a beginner, or if you just need some more tips and tricks, I want this video to be your guide. So grab your fake tanner and let's do this together. I am so excited to spend some time with you guys. Firstly, I wanted to thank Tanceuticals for sponsoring today's video. I am so excited to be partnering up with them. I absolutely love their products and I cannot wait to share my routine with them and their products are amazing. Okay, so before we start talking about all of my fake tan tips and tricks, I wanted to talk about what you need to do before you fake tan. So with whatever product you're using, today I'm going to be talking about Tanceuticals and my routine, but with no matter what product you're using, you're gonna want to shower, exfoliate, and shave the day before, at least 24 hours before you plan to tan. Now, I used to do it right before I tanned and I noticed I would get little bumps on my skin um, and I believe it's from exfoliating and my pores not closing fully before I do the tan. So this routine that I'm going to be showing you today with Tanceuticals, it lasts me about 10 days if I really take the steps to prolong my tan. So 24 hours before you decide that you want to tan, make sure if you already have tanner on to go in the shower and exfoliate and shave and do all of those things and do it 24 hours before you want to apply your tan. I absolutely love this exfoliator from Tanceuticals. It is their pre-tan exfoliator love it because I find it smells so so good and also it's a super gentle exfoliator I just need to smell it <laughs> it's a super gentle exfoliator and it doesn't irritate my skin um, naturally I have very pale skin I am pretty freckly and I have very dry skin so as you'll see that is why I choose certain products over others um, I have all of my recommendations come from someone who has pretty sensitive skin <laughs> so yeah this is incredible I would use this right before I shave um, I also used this product when I was trying to take off my tan and I also thought it worked really well for that so talk about the fake tan you should use and the color I love using ultra dark colors because I have been tanning for four to five years. I know how to work with it and I know how much like layering I should be doing so I don't turn out too dark or too light. Um, but yes, I absolutely love the color of this tan from Tanceuticals. It is their CC Color Correct Ultra Dark uh, Fake Tanning Mousse. Now, I specifically love using mousses when I fake tan, and that is for so many reasons. I find lotions pretty difficult because you really can't see um, where you're putting it and if it's gonna turn out bad. I absolutely love a mousse because I also think the color turns out richer, and I just think I can get a really nice, smooth look on my body. So yeah, that is the reason I choose the mousse, and I absolutely love the undertone of this fake tan for my skin tone. Again, I'm pretty pinkish I have freckles I am very pale naturally because I do not like to tan in the Sun I wear a lot of SPF hat and <laughs> I live in Florida so I always stay away from the Sun like I have my hat I have my umbrella on the beach that doesn't mean I don't want to be tan though so this these products are great um, and people always ask like how are you that tan I'm like it's all self tan <laughs> Um, and you can do it from home, so it's amazing. And another thing I absolutely love about their products is that they smell so good. An issue I've had in the past with other fake tanners is the smell. I cannot sleep with it on, and my husband can smell it, and he doesn't really like it that much. So yeah, this is wonderful. It kind of smells like tropical coconuts or like a yummy sunscreen or something like that. Um, so the way I apply my tan, I actually just got a new one, but I'll take you guys through the whole application process as well. So what I love about the Tanceuticals mitt is that I find with other mitts, I still get some fake tan kind of residue on my fingers from blending. 
this one I don't it is thick enough where I do not get any of those gross like finger like self tan fingers if you know what I mean so I always use a mitt when I apply my fake tan because I find it really gives a nice even finish and that is something I'm looking for and I absolutely love the pink color. Another big tip I have is when it comes to your hands, face, and feet where fake tan tends to kind of stick and you don't want it to be too dark or noticeable, I love using a brush. This is the Tanceuticals brush and something I absolutely love about it is that it's angled so it's super easy to apply your fake tan on your feet, on your face. It gets in all the nooks and crannies. It's super, super soft and dense. And that's what I love. I love a good dense brush for fake tan. And it just gives a really nice smooth finish on your hands. The specific face fake tan. So this one is the CC Correct um, Tanceuticals Face Lotion, self tanning face lotion. It is in the shade Ultra Dark. I will use a tiny, tiny little bit of it because I do like my face to be a little bit lighter than my body. I will use tinted moisturizer or something like that to even out my skin tone, but I like it to be a little bit lighter. Tanceuticals is their wash off bronzer. If I'm going out, I'm going out to the pool or the beach or you know out to dinner with friends and I want to have that extra bronzy glow, I will use this and I just kind of put it on with my mitt and I put it on dry and it kind of gives you a nice pretty bronzed glow. Is this awesome tan extender from Tanceuticals. So, so good. So I use this to maintain and prolong my tan. This is the only thing that will actually help my tan stay on for longer than five days. It usually allows it to stay on for like maybe, I can push it to 10 to 12 days and it smells so good. Again, I just love the smell of their products. And I also wanted to mention, obviously all of their products are cruelty free, which is super important to me when I am picking a brand that I wanna work with or I'm using in my daily life. So yeah, let's go into the bathroom and I will show you my process and kind of walk you through everything. I'm so now out of the shower and I just put on my bathing suit top that I will be self tanning in and a pair of black shorts. That is a massive tip I have for you guys is to in not invest, but get some pretty inexpensive black clothing because fake tan like naturally will transfer on like just clothes that you're wearing while you're tanning and like for the first like five to ten minutes. So I actually bought this black robe from Amazon and I wear it every single time I fake tan. So after I fake tan I will put this robe on and I will just wear this for the majority of the day or the evening so if anything transfers it's only on this robe and it's all good so i will link all of these items down below and my swimsuit is from billabong i believe so yeah so sorry for the orange lighting in my bathroom it is what it is <laughs> um but yeah i am going to start my prep now. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take some CeraVe um, moisturizing cream. And the spots that are a little bit more dry like your elbows. I'm going to put some on my face. I'm actually just going to use some of my face moisturizer on my face, on my knees and my ankles. Now I normally would start with my legs, but I want to show you the process, so I'm going to do it top to bottom. So this is the color of the tan, so you can see really nice. I'm going to start with this area, it smells so good. Now I blend it pretty quickly. one pump again, how much looks like, and you just kind of go in. And I'm avoiding my wrist because I'm gonna do that with my brush. So I blend it perfectly. It gives such a nice glow to the skin. So I always put my hair in a bun when I am fake tanning so my hair doesn't get tanned up. the tanner 
dinner. Now I am going to wait about seven hours and then I'm gonna wash it off. If you guys want to try out Tanceuticals for yourself, I am going to leave the link in my description and I just absolutely love these products and I know you guys will too. They're so good and I cannot wait to show you guys the results. Okay friends, it's been a few days since I applied my tan and I wanted to show you guys the results and how seamless it looks. Um, even after a few days, I could probably reapply tonight or the next day depending on how dark I want this tan to look. So I'm gonna come close up, but this is what the tan looks like. I feel like my body is just constantly glowing so the areas that come off the fastest for me are this area on my arm and it's been about four days since I applied the tanner and as you can see it is still seamless absolutely seamless and it hasn't really caught on to my wrists or anything like that hands are normally a tough area as well and I think it just looks so natural and beautiful <music> Please subscribe and like this video it really helps us out and it really just like motivates us to create some awesome content we have some amazing things coming up so make sure to subscribe and we will see you guys in our next video thanks for watching bye